Hi, right now I'm here with Jerry Conway. And so you uh, created the character of the Punisher. Can you tell me how you came up with that character? Any inspiration you used? Well, it was uh, back in the early 70s. New York was in a kind of a dark place. Uh, you know, the, the country was also in a kind of a dark place. And he was a, an attempt to create a, originally was an attempt to create a secondary villain for Spider-Man to fight uh, and was inspired by that kind of darkness and bleakness and anti-heroic feeling that was prevalent at the time. Uh, and in the course of writing it and drawing it, that first issue, we realized we had a character with a little more uh, oomph than we had expected. Right, yeah, it turned out awesome. And so um, you also did the Gwen Stacy death. So how did you come up with that death? Well, we were looking for a way to make the readers uh, feel in, more invested in the book uh, and in the lives of the characters. And one of the ways you do that is by creating a situation where you're any, you feel like anything could happen to anybody at any given time. It's sort of like what they do with Game of Thrones, yeah, you know, exactly. where at the end of the first season you kill off one of the main characters. Right. So we wanted to create some drama. The artist at the time, a guy named John Romita, uh, it was his idea to kill off Gwen, uh, Aunt May. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually felt that Gwen Stacy made a better character to eliminate just because I wanted to write Mary Jane. Uh, I felt that she was a stronger character, had more potential, and that's uh, that's where we came from. Okay. And do you prefer writing for comics or for TV and film? Do you have a preference of one or the other? Uh, no preference. I enjoyed working in both fields. Uh, each has their strengths, each has their weaknesses. Uh, mm -hmm. You have a little more leeway to do spontaneous, spur-of-the-moment things in comics. Uh, TV gives you a greater capacity to get to some really deep emotional depths so there's right. different different strengths and weaknesses right and when you saw spider-man on screen was it everything that you envisioned in your head it was chilling yeah, yeah. i really enjoyed it that's so cool so do you have any easter eggs and anything that you write well uh specifically with in terms of peter parker in the early stories that i was doing uh when i was writing amazing spider-man uh it was kind of based on me to a degree because I was, uh, like Peter, a 19-year-old uh, young man living in New York City, struggling to find an apartment, struggling to have a relationship, dealing with an ulcer. Uh, all, all of the elements that made Peter's life fraught were kind of elements that were drawn from my own life. Oh, wow. That's really interesting. I had no idea. That's awesome to know. <laughs> and last question, do you have any advice for you know writers out there who are trying to write for comics or for TV? Pursue your own vision, uh, be true to your own intentions, and never give up. Great advice. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Miko with 88 TV.